Hello viewers, welcome back to session 3 of integration class taking into account definite integral. So in our two previous lessons video, in the description section of this video, I'll give you the links there. Please do all to watch those videos before you proceed to watch this video for better understanding. So, so far so good, we have learned about what integration x, indefinite integration, and then we proceed to talk about definite integration or definite integral. So what is a definite integral? By definite integral, we mean that the function has what a limit. By definite integral, we mean that the function has what a limit. So let's support this with an example and explain the concepts about definite integral or how to in integrate a definite word function. Now, let's say we have a function right with my elongated word x and let's say here is what negative 2 and let's say negative 1 that's what we call a definite integral by this way it has what a limit negative 2 negative 1 so let's say we have 3 x square okay minus 1 the x so we are asked to integrate this function and how do you integrate this function having seen the limit this is what we call the definite integral so we want to integrate this function having what a limit so this limit that you see here we call it the upper limit and we call the one below as well the lower limit this is called the upper limit this is called what the lower limit so this is how we go by integrating this function because this an integration or a function in a subtraction form we can show that we integrate so by integration by this time you should be able to know how to integrate so we can therefore say that you have you're going to integrate 3 square minus 1 so that is going to be so you have your first bracket indicated so integrating 3 square that is going to give us what 3 x square plus 1 2 plus 1 should fetch you what 3 and then divided by what 3 and you do the same here. Remember, negative 1 can be written as what? 1x to the power of what? 0. So the main subtraction sign is negative here. So we have here to be 1x to the power of 0 plus 1. 0 plus 1 should fetch you what? 1. So divided by what? 1. And then you have your bracket close. So here, because it has a limit, that's why I put them in bracket. So meaning that you're going to have the first limit, the upper limit, to be indicated here sorry here should be rather negative one and here should be negative two because negative one is greater than what negative two because here is the upper limit and the lower limit always the upper limit must be greater than the lower limit is that okay so you're gonna have here to be negative one okay and here should be what negative two okay so once you get to this stage we will substitute negative 1 in this whole expression. After that, we will subtract whatever we get and substitute negative 2 into the same expression. So we're going to take the difference between the substitution of negative 1 in this expression and the substitution of negative 2 in the same word expression. So that's going to give us, can I proceed down? That's going to give us, so here 3 will cancel 3, right? So I'll have what? I'll have, I'll have x to the power of 3 minus x right hope you accept that minus x so here you have here to be negative one negative two so now let's do our substitution bring it here so therefore i can say that i have here to be substitute negative two sorry negative one into x cubed minus x so that's going to give what negative one x cubed minus negative one in a bracket okay minus then we also substitute negative two into the same expression and then we take the difference between the two so that's going to give me open bracket negative two to the power of four three okay minus negative four two remember it is negative two so we have the main negative sign there so you have that one then you have negative two also here okay so once you get to this stage it's a matter of your board mass you apply negative one to the power of three will fetch me what negative one 
And we have negative here, negative here, making it positive. So plus what? One. So that should be in bracket. Minus. Here, negative two to the power of three should fetch me negative what? Eight. Okay? The negative, negative is fetching what? Positive. So that should be plus what? Two. Bracket close. So we deal with the issues about the bracket. Here will fetch me what? Zero minus. And here will fetch me what? Negative what? Six. So therefore, we can say that negative, negative should fetch me positive. So therefore, the integration of what this function should fetch me what? Six. So that should be the final answer to this particular question. And this is how we integrate a definite what? Function. A definite function having a limit. Let's take another example. Let's take another example. Let's take another example. Let's take it from here. Let's take it from here. So let's say we are asked to integrate a function with our integral symbol. So here is 2, 1. So we have, sorry, so we have s cubed over 3, okay, plus 2x, the x. We are asked to integrate this function having the limit here. We go by using the same approach we used to present this. So we are going to go by using the same approach to actually present for this in that regard. So all that I want to do is to integrate, okay? So here we can reduce it, so it is already in its simplest form. So what I'm going to do here is have our bracket here. So by integration, this is what we're going to do. I can rewrite this as what? One over three. And I have my x here, which is q plus what? One. Okay? So that's going to give you four. So and then divide the whole by what? Four. Okay? Plus. We do same here. We have what? Two x one plus one. And then divide the whole by what? Two. Because one plus one is going to fetch me two. Remember, 2x is the same thing as 2x to the power of 1. All right. But because this is a definite integral having the limit, there is no issue about constant. That's the constant that we are finding. So the first one, if that should be so, that should be the constant of the function, actually, if you want to, or if something of that sort. So here we have our 2 here, we have our 1 here. So we do same here. We substitute 2. We find the difference between the substitution of 2 in this expression and the substitution of 1 in this same expression. So that's going to give us, in this simplest form, we have yet to be equal to, remember, this 1 over 3 divided by what? 4. So I can write this as what? 1 over 12, okay? x to the power of what? 4, okay? Plus, remember here is what? 2. Here is also 2, so to cancel. Plus, x what? Squared. Have your bracket there. And then we have our 2 here. We have our 1 here, Okay? So once you get to this stage, we also kind of substitute the two in there. That's what we're going to do the substitution and find the difference. So in this case, let me clean this part. So in this case, in this case, what I'm going to do is substitute or two in this, substitute one in there. So we find the difference between the two. So that's going to give me one over twelve. Okay, x should be what? 2. So 2 to the power of what? 4. Okay? Plus x is what? 2. So you have 2 all squared and have your first bucket. And we do same with that of what? The 1 in this same expression. So minus we have our first bracket open. So you start to 1 here. So it becomes what? 1 over 12. 1 to the power of 4. Okay? Plus so as you can see here, we also substitute what 1 into 1 over 12 x to the power of 4. That's what we have done here. And we do the same with 1 in the power of what? x squared. So that's going to give us 1 squared. Bracket close. So here is a matter of your board mass and your calculator. Okay. So here, when you square, when you take the fourth of what 2, that's 2 in the groups of 4, that should fetch you 16, I guess. It should be 16. 2 to the power of 4 should be 16. So that should be 16 over 12, okay? 16 over 12. Because 1 multiplying 16 will fetch 16. Plus, here she also fetch you what? 4. Then bracket close minus. 
here she will fetch you 1 over 12. Then here she will fetch you plus what? 1. So once you get to this stage, it's a matter of your calculator. Okay, so 16 out of 12 plus 4, she'll be able to fetch you what? 16 out of what? 3. She'll be able to fetch you 16 out of 3. And then that of 1 over 12 plus 1, she'll fetch you minus 13 out of what? 12. So by calculation with your calculator, you should be able to arrive at what? 51 out of what? 12. And 51 out of 12 should be equal to 4 whole number, 3 out of what? 12. And then you are done. So this is how definite integral is actually work when you want to integrate this kind of function. So this is where we bring an end to this video. If it was really helpful to you, please go ahead to smash this video the like of this video, subscribe to the channel where we talk about integration by substitution. Bye-bye.